Hey guys, Cody Baramani. Today, we're gonna to talk about the new dies that we have available for our motorized bead roller. So these new dies, they're really gonna expand the capability of this machine. We now have the ability to hem an edge, tip an edge, shear, do a 45 degree step, bead tubing, and then we also have some additional beading dies. So we're gonna go through each of these dies and explain what they do. The hem die, it's actually a three step process involving three sets of dies. The first set, it's gonna allow you to create an edge that's 90 degrees. After that, you're gonna swap over to the step two, and that's gonna actually fold that edge over past 90 and allow you to switch to the third step. That third step is gonna crush it flat, create a nice hemmed edge that's consistent and smooth. This is really popular in the industry. Our tipping die is super versatile. It lets you tip an edge that's either straight or curved on a panel, and it also allows you to create artwork in the center of a panel. Doing multiple passes with this tipping die set allows you to create a steeper and steeper tipped edge. Our shearing dies, they're perfect for cutting either a straight line or a gentle curve in sheet metal. They don't allow you to cut very tight edges, but they do allow you to move straight through a large piece of material and cut quickly and efficiently. These 45 degree step dies, they're great for custom work. You can create a strengthening rib or a stepped edge in a panel that looks a little bit different and cleaner than your traditional flanging dies or step dies. Definitely a cool piece to have in your arsenal. So a lot of people ask, how do you put a bead in tubing? Well, these two beading dies are gonna get the job done for you quickly and easily. They allow you to bead tubing for intercooler piping, coolant piping, or any other system that you wanna put a hose clamp on and need a good pressure fit. So the unique construction of these two beading dies is pretty cool. The lower die, it rides on a big ball bearing, and this allows it to freely spin and ride on that small upper die. That small upper die, needs to be as small as it is to fit inside the tubing and create our unique profile. In addition to all these specialty dies, we also brought in a one inch and three quarter inch bead die to complement the other bead dies we have available. We sell this machine today with an included half inch bead die, but we now have a three quarter inch and one inch as well, in addition to the smaller sizes we already offer. So as you can see, we've really brought in some cool new dies to expand the capabilities of this machine. This is a great versatile bead roller and we're gonna to continue to expand our offering of bead rollers and bead dies in the future. So for more information about these products or any others, visit eastwood.com.